The MIDI editor is now docked by default. Make sure the MIDI object is selected and click on the MIDI editor tab. The MIDI editor will open in its docked state. Clicking on the tab again will hide the MIDI editor. You can adjust the height of the editor by moving the mouse cursor to the top until a double-headed vertical arrow appears. Left click and drag to the required height. If you prefer not to have the editor docked, either double click on the tab or grab the tab and drag upwards. Either method will undock the MIDI editor. You can then resize the editor to your preferred dimension. Double clicking on the MIDI editor title bar will return it to the dock. Double clicking again will undock the editor and restore it to its previous size and position. If you have a multi-monitor setup, the positioning and size should also be remembered. It's also possible to dock the MIDI editor to the top, or the left, or the right side of the VIP. Grab the MIDI editor button and drag. As soon as the MIDI editor is undocked, you will see some docking position indicators. You can use these to direct the MIDI editor to the correct position. Drag the undocked editor and position the mouse cursor over one of the arrows. The potential docking area will then be shown in green. You can dock it to the top. You can dock it to the left. And dock it to the right. You can also dock it at the bottom separately to the main docking buttons. Grab the editor title bar and position the mouse cursor over the lower arrow of the central docking guide. The MIDI editor will now be docked in a separate docker. Use the minimize and maximize buttons to close or open the MIDI editor, or just click on the tab. To add the MIDI editor back to the original line of buttons, drag the title bar until it is undocked and pull it downwards so the green highlighting aligns with the buttons. Let go of the mouse button and the MIDI editor will now be redocked to its original position.